Hey, what's up, guys? This is Cole, and uh, this tutorial is going to be about the Dreamweaver document window. As you can see here, I have some HTML code, and I have a lot of other HTML documents that are open. Right here, we have our insert tab our CSS styles tab, our files, and our assets. If you don't like this this view of how all this stuff's set up, um, you can go down here to workspace layout underneath the window, and you have, uh, you have the app developer, you have the app developer plus, see it moves the files over here and keeps the insert and the CSS styles over here. It also adds this, uh, this database, which we will talk about later. And it has uh, server bindings, server behaviors, which we don't need to worry about any of that stuff right now. But just to see how all this stuff is arranged as you select these different workspace layouts. There's the classic workspace layout. And the coder. Coder Plus. All this really depends on you know how you want to look at all of your different options. I honestly like the uh, the designer, so we'll go with that one. So up here we have all of our files. Right here we have code, split, design. Here we have the title of the page. Here we have uh, server interactions, which you use once you set up a site, which we just talked about. Here you can preview. That's what it looks like inside Firefox. And that's what it looks like inside of Internet Explorer. Here's our options. We can set up a grid, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can pull down guides. Let's see. Rulers. Let's see, I'm not sure where the guide oh, I think the guides are these little lines over here on the side. But I think there's a way to there we go. We can pull them out. Which is pretty nice when you're setting up, uh, you know, you want to know exactly where it's going to be on the page. So let's pull down some guides. All right, and then we have color icons, which are these guys over here. Pretty sure turn those off and they turn gray um, over here we have the inserts you'll probably be using these a lot if you if you don't know HTML by hand um, the insert tab puts all of well pretty much every tag you need inside your document for you so it's very handy if you're trying to create um, things quickly. So a simple hyperlink, give some text. This is a link to say Google. And here we have target blank, which I like to use. It takes the person away from the page that they're currently on. That way it keeps the the page that they're currently on open and opens up a new tab or new window. I think in Internet Explorer it opens a new window, but in uh, Firefox it opens a new tab. And you give it a title. This is a link to Google. And I wouldn't worry about the other two things. There we go. Now let's look at this inside of Firefox. Yeah, of course, I'm going to save. Uh oh. Looks like we have an error problem there is that this doesn't have HTTP in front of it. So 
so it's going to try to open it up on the local um, server or in the f current file structure because you didn't specify it to be an absolute link so run again if we save it now she goes straight to Google I really like the uh, Olympic backgrounds that Google has been having lately pretty cool so let's go back to Dreamweaver now let's insert some other things uh, the table which I like to use div tags but it's always nice to know how to use tables so in different uh, different applications different pages call for different things I still use tables a lot in HTML email so let's give it a width of let's say 800 I'm going to turn these grids off I've just shown you guys that earlier don't really need that anymore and I'm also going to take this link and put it inside first cell the first column the first row there we go take this out type in uh, tables now if we want we can wrap this tag I wrap this in uh, let's see if we can find our tags mm. nope well, let's go to this. Just give it a header tag. There's a way to actually wrap that around, but I don't have that window open right now. Let's see if I can find it. 